Hello everyone, I'm Claudia and I'm gonna present this PPT uh, we made in my friend Ragino about Mikulash, the Hungarian center. Let's start. What I'm gonna talk about First, I want to define the difference between Telapo and Mikulash, because these names for Santa are interchangeable in Hungarian, but they have different origins. Then how he was celebrated in the past in Hungary and how we celebrate him now, about the small gifts he brings, Santa Claus in school, and in the end, where you can find him in Hungary. Telapo works Mikulash. Telapo is a pagan character who is originated from the German god Odin and on midwinter he brings reward or punishment. So his character is mainly not about kindness but justice. And Mikulash, the character is based on the Catholic bishop Saint Nicholas. His Hungarian name is Saint Miklós, Miklós, Mikulás, that's where the name is coming from. He's kind and generous all the time and he's got a legend that there was a poor family in his town. They had three daughters, but they didn't have enough money for the girls to marry. And he wanted to help, but didn't want them to know where the money is coming from. So he put it in their window. In some other versions of this legend, he gave it through the chimney. Uh, that's why in other cultures, Santa Claus climbs down the chimney. The past in Hungary. Chain Nicholas or Lancos Miklos. This time of the year, young men went from house to house with clinking chains and they scared children. Um, it's really difficult to find this relation to the character we know now, and luckily this was banned in the 18th century. The present. Nowadays, children clean their boots and put them out in the window on the evening of the 5th of December before they go to sleep. And by the next morning, they will have something in the boots, depending on whether they were good or bad. Normally, there is something in those boots. And you may wonder um, if Santa comes on the 5th of December or the 6th, because he comes at night, uh, then what's up with Christmas? Well, in Hungary, Christmas is about baby Jesus. He brings our Christmas gifts and Santa just brings small gifts and sweets to the kids this time. That you can see here, here's this Mikulás csomag, Santa's package. Uh, traditionally, it contains peanuts, oranges, and salon zucker, or Christmas candy, or basically any kind of sweets, chocolate centers, small toys. So as I've mentioned, Telapu legend originally included not only rewards or gifts, but punishment as well. And here comes Krampus into the picture, who gave via catch to kids, which is this pile of twig that you can see here, and he's a fearful and devilish creature, mean elf, mostly represented with horns and long fur. Originally, you can see the top, top pictures, they are from uh, old postcards, and yeah, his character was, the purpose of his character was to scare children, so not to be naughty, but nowadays uh, his representation is changing, as you can see on the bottom pictures, becoming cuter and closer uh, to kids. And that's my sister on the smaller picture alone. In her primary school, there is this tradition that the first year students dress up as cute little crampuses and give sweets to other kids. And if we read the schools, let's see what Santa's actually doing here. 
because normally kids can't meet him, but nowadays he goes to every kindergarten and schools to celebrate with children, bring some packages, sweets, talks to them, and so on. And you can see this new type of Krampuses here as well. In this setup they have a practical role, because they are the ones who help Santa Manny doing things. And where you can find Santa Claus in Hungary. We have Mikulás Falva or the village of Santa in Nagy Karácsony Fejér County and it all started because of the name of the settlement which refers to Christmas. The post office started to send responses when people send letters and postcards to Santa Claus and later on it expanded. They opened the house of Santa where there are family events at this time of the year. Kids can meet him, talk to him, sit in his lap. And now he still replies to letters and postcards, but you can even call Santa Claus or send him an email. And he speaks English, German and Russian as well. So that was it, thank you for your attention.